supposed to leave this building, I'm guessing? Wait a minute. What the fuck? I can't kill him. Well, he's yours. That's why I like can't kill him. So? Shit. I should still be able to kill him. <laughs> Where are we going? Uh, to this marker over here. Alright. Fuck that. I'm just gonna run. I'm not really used uh, to... The oh, shit. You can get tired. Yeah. Yeah, running and flying uses uh, stamina. Well, that sucks. Yeah, I figured they would make it like that because the regular game was like that too. Hey, you found a collectible. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It's just in the regular game, I had everything on, you know, full. Oh. Yeah, you gotta level it all the way up. Gotta pick it up. Starting out. Running out of juice. see what we got oh did you already set a waypoint uh yeah i'm at where we gotta go now wait a minute what's this gear up if you get a chance i have a few errands wait a minute let's let's do the charge to halo 2 all right yeah collect the stomp power yeah let's do all this in a row live so, demon girls <laughs> what are you sitting at uh, it's like a porno storm in front of it was like musical guest tonight backdoor action featuring jackhammer. Oh wow! <laughs> hey, look, we right over your butt. Here we go. Oh man, dude, you should be up in here, dog. They got dead zombies around here just rocking it out, man. <laughs> just fucking dancing. Go have fun, little imp. Damn, headshots in this game are hard. Yeah, I know. Party it up, little buddy. Lights up. William Shakespeare, humanity's greatest playwright, and hell's most diabolical purveyor of entertainment, looks on as a brave mortal on an Orphean quest enters. The bard's interest is piqued, and he looks to test his visitor's mettle. <laughs> really? <laughs> he dropped the mic. The masked tragedies were used to enemies cowering as they approached. Kill but soon they realized that they faced a foe with courage oh. and nobility. Traits uncommon in the fires of perdition. The fuck? They teleported. They teleported. Yeah, he teleported up here. Like, every time you get near him, he, he teleports. Like, you gotta shoot him. Where is he? Uh, second floor. Oh, fuck. The fuck? Okay, fuck this. Oh, wait a minute. Sir. What? Where is he? I got him. Inciting incident resolved. Got him. The time has come for rise. Oh crap, what are we gonna do again? Damn impaler pump action shotgun. The lava cannon. Yeah, that's what I'm using right now. It sucks. Yeah, it doesn't fire fast, but it might be strong. The battle raged on below, and as bullets and blood flew, the bard arched a curious eyebrow. Could this mortal be the exact thing that Shakespeare needed? Oh, I like this one. I like the uh, I like the thing better. The crossbow. Mm. It's pretty cool. 
Oh crap, we got, a, we got another gun. What is it? Br the Brimstone Belcher Rapid Fire SMG. Yeah, this submachine gun's pretty badass. Can you see? Ooh, I got a sniper rifle. Ooh. You got a sniper rifle? Yeah. I don't got one. I don't have a submachine gun. Shakespeare eagerly Maybe they give us different weapons. Champion that dispatched so many of his men. Shoot, I'd prefer to have that sniper rifle. They were here for the bard's end. And while happy endings were not a thing found in hell, Shakespeare always had a soft spot for comedies. Wow, <laughs> so his position is actually messed up. He's in front of the glass, not behind it. Living, William Shakespeare is regarded as one of the most prolific playwrights of all time. However, to the denizens of hell, the bard is seen in a far different light. After selling his soul for fame and adoration, Shakespeare served in hell as Satan's spy master general. In doing his duty, Shakespeare would punish the souls he was investigating by forcing them to perform in grotesque passion plays for Satan's amusement. But in a Twelfth Night-esque twist, Shakespeare found himself living a double life. While he projected an image of cruelty, his heart was as soft as Jezebel's. In secret, he would tutor her on the classics and act out the works of his mortal days. When Satan found out, he cast Shakespeare out of the palace, believing that the poet would be tormented by the populace of hell, far out of Jezebel's sight. But Satan had not counted on the bard's cunning. Embracing his persona of master torturer, Shakespeare and his followers, the tragedies, took root in the entertainment district, biding their time for revenge. So Shakespeare called forth the Deus Ex Machina to bestow our protagonist with the arcane power of force. Deus Ex Machina. <laughs> Sounds like an anime. Hello? Yeah, it's mostly a term, um, pretty much. Oh. Diversion revenge. Oh, finally we get to kill Dex. Fuck that bitch. Who's Dex? Dex was uh, one of the saints in part one, who was one of the generals of the saints. And then in part two, when you were, um, he kind of set you up <laughs> to get killed at the end of part one. Mm -hmm. So then in part two, you were getting your revenge on all the, you know, on all different people who screwed you over. And you killed uh, all the other ones, you killed Julius. Except when it got to Dex, he just kind of made a deal with Altor and just dipped off, so you never actually killed him. Mm -hmm. Except I think uh, in like a DLC or something, you came back and shot him. Oh. So that's why it says fine to kill Dex again and again. <laughs> okay, this is the same stomp. They, like they had Marlo the before him, Satan yeah, it's probably the same thing, yeah. The bard. Yeah, but uh, you know they should they should Lights fucking up. do something new. The mortal stands in the training grounds, eager to try out his new force stomp power on the group of demons in front of him. Mm. Oh, there you go. I already killed him. Kills more demons with force. <laughs> I like the fact that Shakespeare talks like he's narrating. <laughs> Hell yeah. Fucking little imps. In which our protagonist learns that force stomp even works on flying enemies, enabling them to remove a dark inciter's shield before shooting them to death. Oh, okay. Damn, I almost flew off. And love I stomped right on the edge of that shit. The day <laughs> is one, and the curtain closes on our noble hero. Man, fuck your couch permanently. <laughs> what yeah. Fuck your couch, your house, and your entire first floor. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, okay. <laughs> I could open the door. <laughs> 